in Liu Jia Township, Yibing County, a small place in southwest part of China. Deng Erniang is preparing sorted root biker, one year supply for her family. Born in Rongxian, Sichuan, she is now 58 and got married to a veteran Zhou Chang when she was 19. She gave birth to seven children who are the hope of the day when they get home. Her husband, 68. But it turned out they had a hard time. At the age of 12, Zhou Wu, the fifth son, suffered from neck atrophy and became paralytic with dementia. Zhou Liu, the sixth son, suffers the same case. So that Zhou Qi, the seventh son, at the age of 12. They are becoming idiotic and dismayed. Not long after. And paralytic too. Today, with her first son still in the army, the second son having died young, and the third and fourth sons living independently, Arnian is all by herself sustaining a family of four paralytics. <laughs> it is now the plowing time. Arnian used to have her own cattle. As she now gets too old to hold the plow, she asks for help from her neighbor. Her family used to farm 2.5 bull, about half acre of land, which yielded crop enough to support the family for a year. Considering her difficulty, the local government provides her a necessary quantity of crops. Thus, she lost her land. Since her grown-up sons eat a lot, she cannot afford extra crops, and the farm supplied of Lao Si, the fourth son's land. It is said Lao Si is going to return next year. So this is the last rice crop for Ernian to farm. Oh, 3 of her sons got here at the same age of 12 and became serious day by day. Arian carried Zhou Wu to get in and out. Zhou Liu and Zhou Qi could barely walk along the road as her children are often quarreling over tribal. Arnian feels so bad and helpless.
你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把你把
It's hard to collect the money. It is the sowing time now. The plot of Ernyam is usually sowed later than the others. She has to wait until her neighbor finishes theirs and comes over to help. With her neighbor's help, Ernian is preparing wheat seedlings. Her worn out plastic sheet is far from enough to cover the bread in the Ernian cuts open the plastic sheet and barely covers the breeding bed. <laughs> It is now the time for folks to visit the grave and honor the memory of the dead. They will also see the grave is well preserved and well taken care of by some of the related ones. Yeah, Although life is hard, they have to live on. Ernia now makes up her mind to buck piglings. She has spoke with the pig seller for payment by installment.
Although they are come to show, the seller has spread his stick to the school, so as the creator will weigh more. At the price of 5 yuan per jing, Erlian is supposed to pay 447.5 yuan, that is about 60 US dollars for two peaks of 45 kilogram. Without enough money, he pays the first 200 yuan. One night, that cork comes to the Ernians again. Ernian gets old indeed, and her leg hurts so much. What she hopes is to cure her children of illness. After two visits of this quad, Ernian no longer believes that no one will ever happen. Early on during the breast exercise will cure. Then she wakes up Sochi at five in the morning to learn it with the neighbor. Sochi's stage is the least serious. He hopes that after recovery, he will work in Chengdu, the capital city of Sichuan province and make money to get married. Arnian used to walk miles to collect firewood from the hill every four days. And now with picklings at home, she has to go there every three days. When she is away for firewood, her husband and sons have to wait all the time until she returns to cook for them. Zhou Changyong has his proud past. In 1950s, he was promoted in the Korean War as squad leader because of his bravery. In 1958, he became a veteran and worked as the head of the Township Supply Cooperative and chairman of the street. In 1987, he became paralytic and unable to work anymore. He hardly believes his and son's recovery will happen. And what worries him most 
his dead early aunt will die before him. He considers himself the luckiest man because he marries early aunt. One day, Ernan's cousin Li Fuhua died, and she went to the funeral. The death of Li Fuhua reminds Ernan of her age. If something happens to her, what will do her husband and her three paralytic children? One month after, Ernie bought her hen, which lays 21 eggs. She plans to hatch these eggs, and chickens will sell. Some time later, the government relief fund comes finally. Ernie rushes to the office and gets her amount mm -hmm. for the first season. The relief fund is one of the subsidies sponsored by the Chinese government, supporting people who are in serious difficulties. Early on began to receive this fund in 1986, 20 yuan for each of her three sons and 30 yuan for her veteran husband. This time, Early on receives a total of 190 yuan which is about 24 U.S. dollars. With this money, Ernie directly comes to pay her debt to the pig seller. To find the money is still not enough. Prior to wheat harvesting, the village government sponsors a donation activity to support Arnia. She receives over 100 yuan from her folks. Twenty days later, eleven chickens come out of twenty-one eggs. Early on figures that if everything goes well, these chickens will sell for over hundred yuan.
summer comes, her seedlings are growing well. Erniang invites some helpers to transplant the seedlings. What she hopes now is a good weather and a harvest at autumn. Hey, 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 hey,